Hi, this is uh, Dilip from Anamika's Academy and today we are going to learn past continuous tense. As we had seen in present continuous, the work always remains in progress. In present continuous, the work was going on at present. But here in past continuous tense, this work in progress was at one particular point of time in the past. That is the only difference. Present continuous mein koi kaam chal raha hai aur past continuous mein koi bhi kaam beete hue samay mein chal raha tha. That is the only difference. Okay, so let's uh, have a look at the structure. As you can see, subject is always the first. Uske baad helping verb is was and were, followed by main verb with ing because action is going on, and ultimately we have object. So with the help of this structure, we can frame the sentences of this tense. Now let's see how and when this was and were are used. As you can see, singular for I was will come, for you were will come and for he, she, it, this, that or any name was will be applicable. Similarly for plural, we will come with were, you will come with were and similarly they, these, those and more than one name will come with were. So that's the only formula we have to keep in our mind and with the help of this structure, now we can frame sentences. Let's have a look of the sentences. Tum uska intazar kar rahe the. Matlab, in the past, this wait was going on. Similarly, main padhai kar raha tha. At some point of time, in the past, this action of study was going on. Wa jhoot bol rahi thi. Again, an action which was happening in the past and hum log bajar ja rahe the. This also belongs to the same tense. Now, agar aap in vakyon ke upar nazar dalenge, to dekhenge ki kuch cheeze bilkul saman hai. Ek jaisi hai, jaisi ki rahe the, raha tha, rahi thi, rahe the, to ye iski pehchan hai. If any sentence has raha tha, rahi thi, or rahe the, you can easily conclude that it belongs to past continuous tense. Now we will see how to frame the English sentence of these Hindi sentences. How to convert them from Hindi into English. So let's take the first sentence. Tum uska intizar kar rahe the. So it will start with you and along with you always war comes and then the verb will come with ing waiting for him you were waiting for him tum uska intizar kar rahe the so here in the beginning subject has come and then verb and then verb and ing similarly take the second sentence main padhai kar raha tha i so instead of were was will come and study plus ing that is i was studying similarly was jhoot bol rahi thi she 
again was will come and this is the action progress she was lying hum log bazaar ja rahe the now again v has come so as per this formula were will come we were going to the market okay so here we have seen that verb has always come with ing in all these four sentences was and were changed depending on the subject for you and we were has been used for i and she was has come so that is the only care we need to take otherwise it is very very similar to the present continuous that we did in the past after positive now let's learn how to make negative sentences which is not very difficult yahan pe hamare paas structure hai and if we have to make a negative sentence was ke baad not aayega and in a combined form we can say wasn't similarly were plus not and we can say weren't so that's the only change in the structure of this tense for negative and now we will try to take the same examples and convert them into negative and see how the negative sentences are framed so it's not at all very difficult let's try to do that Now, I am going to take तुम उसका इंतजार नहीं कर रहे थे So you weren't waiting for him. So by simply adding this n and t, we have made it a negative sentence. Similarly, second one मैं पढ़ाई नहीं कर रहा था so i wasn't studying i wasn't studying wo jhoot nahi bol rahi thi she wasn't lying so final sentence hum log bazaar nahi ja rahe the we weren't going to the market so we have seen how we can convert a positive sentence into negative by simply adding an nt what becomes weren't and was becomes wasn't and that is how we can get the negative sentence after positive and negative Let's learn how to frame questions in past continuous tense. Now here we have two kinds of question. First is those questions which are replied in either yes or no. So those questions will start with the helping verb was or were depending on the subject and then subject and then the verb with ing and finally the object similarly in yes no questions if we have to ask any question which is talking about any negative activity then it will start with wasn't or weren't depending on the subject okay so now let's try to frame some questions with the help of this structure kya wo tumse बात कर रही थी सो इट विल स्टार्ट विथ वॉज शी टॉकिंग टू यू सिमिलरली क्या वे लोग दिल्ली जा रहे थे वर बिकॉज वे लोग इज वी or they were they going to delhi 
थर्ड वन क्या हम लोग सवाल पूछ रहे थे वर वी आस्किंग क्वेश्चन वर वी आस्किंग क्वेश्चन सो वी हैव मेड थ्री इंटेरोगेटिव सेंटेंसेस विच विल बी आंसर्ड इन इधर येस और नो Now let's take another category where the question will start with either wasn't or want. क्या वह तुमसे बात नहीं कर रही थी So this was will change to wasn't. Wasn't she talking to you? क्या वे लोग दिल्ली नहीं जा रहे थे वॉन्ट दे गोइंग टू डेली क्या हम लोग सवाल नहीं पूछ रहे थे वॉन्ट वी asking question so here we have seen how to make these questions with the help of the structure it will always start with was or were which is the helping verb in case of negative it's either wasn't or want Now let's see how to frame fact finding questions because there are many questions wherein we seek information so those questions will start with why what when where whom which how and after that the structure will be very similar to the yes no question that we had seen earlier so with the help of this structure and this word we will try to frame the fact finding question now let's take one example wah tumse baat kyon kar rahi thi so kyon means why that will come in the beginning and then why was she speaking to you why was she speaking to you so this why is indicative of certain information which has to be given so that's why we always use these wh words in fact finding questions similarly let's take the second example वह तुमसे बात क्यों नहीं कर रही थी सो अगेन द सेम स्टेटमेंट इज मेड इन द नेगेटिव मैनर सो वाई वॉज विल बिकम वॉज एंट वाई वॉज एंट शी स्पीकिंग टू यू why wasn't she speaking to you so the reason is required here similarly the reason is needed here so that is how we can make wh questions so similarly we can use what what was she doing when was she going there where was she living whom were you going to meet so we can use the different wh questions to seek different information in past continuous tense